Hey everyone, if you're like me, you find the new Star Wars canon to be lackluster and unfulfilling. Journey with me to a galaxy far, far away as we look back at the expanded universe, which filled our imaginations and kept the Star Wars franchise alive for decades before the likes of Rey and Kylo Ren debuted on the big screen. Journey with me into the legends of Star Wars. Many millennia before the Galactic Civil War, the jungle moon of Yavin 4 was home to a race of dark side warriors known as the Masase. Native to the dark world Korriban, the Masase were once members of the ancient Sith race, thriving solely on the dark side of the Force. After the Second Great Schism, exiled dark Jedi conquer Korriban and proclaim themselves the first dark lords of the Sith. Through the ancient art of Sith alchemy, the pure blood Sith were interbred with the Dark Jedi. The Masase were born. They fought for the Sith Empire under Naga Sadow during the Great Hyperspace War, but would be defeated by Republic forces with help from the Jedi. Defeated, the Sith Empire fled with Republic vessels in pursuit. To ensure his own survival, Naga Sadow commanded his Masase to murder their Sith overlords and engaged the Republic in a final battle, allowing Sadow and his remaining Masase to escape and settle on the fourth moon of Yavin, 5,000 years before the rebellion. Sadow continued mutating his Masase into a violent slave force, which built the great temples across the moon. He would continue on for several decades, becoming worshipped as a god by the Masase, until finally sinking into a stasis where he would await the inevitable arrival of a new apprentice. Six centuries later, the fallen Jedi Freedon Nad arrived on Yavin 4. He was immediately attacked by the savage and now primitive Masase, but Nad's ability with the Force led him to the resting place of Naga Sadow, who awoke and took Nad for his apprentice. When Nad was convinced he had learned all he could from Sadow, he put a final end to the ancient Sith alchemist. Nad left Yavin 4, conquering the planet Andron where he would rule for many centuries. His spirit would lead another fallen Jedi, Exar Kun, to the ruins of Yavin's temples. Upon arriving on the moon, Exar Kun was captured by the Masase, taken as a sacrifice. Succumbing to his rage, Kuhn used the power of the dark side to survive and subjugate the Masase, who proclaimed him their new god. Kuhn commanded the Masase to build more temples to serve as focal points for his dark energies. He would recruit 20 Jedi Knights and corrupt them into his new Sith Brotherhood before launching his attack on the Republic, starting the Great Sith War. Kuhn's forces would be defeated and his apprentice, fallen Jedi Ulit Keldroma, would return to the light, forcing Kuhn to retreat to Yavin 4 as the Republic rained down fire on the moon. Desperate to survive, Kuhn summoned every Masase on the moon to his great temple. There, the final Masase would be wiped out in a ritual releasing Kuhn's spirit from his body, confining it within the walls of his temple where he would lay dormant for 4,000 years. Yavin 4 would be scorched and sterilized during the final battle with Kuhn, and remain deserted long after the Jedi attempt to cleanse the dark taint left there. Seven years after the Battle of Endor, Luke Skywalker would establish his Jedi Academy in the Great Temple on Yavin 4. For nearly 20 years, this was the site from which he grew his new Jedi Order, until the Yuuzhan Vong invaded, destroyed the Masase temples, and forced the Jedi to flee the moon. For more on the history of Yavin 4, read Tales of the Jedi, Fall of the Sith Empire, Dark Lords of the Sith, and The Sith War from Dark Horse. If you want more Legends content, click the thumbs up or subscribe buttons, or just leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all for the next Legend.